Good morning, beautiful people of Valiant Elementary. Coming to you live from the Valiant Elementary Gym. This is the first ever Bulldog Creek Celebration show. We're just hours away from the most electrifying show on this planet, the Bulldog Celebration Show. It is September 1st, 2023, and this Bulldog Creek Celebration show starts right now. Oops. You heard it. This is the first ever Bulldog pre-celebration show. We have a lot of surprises in stock for you today. We have interviews. We may show off some box. We have students being talked to for interviews. We have some coaches in the house that they may get interviewed and they don't even know about it. We got our boy Biscuit in the house. Okay, We got all kinds of electrifying interviews coming to you. We've got all kinds of things to be excited about. And like I said earlier, we are just hours away from the celebration show. So... Every one of these celebrations are going to have a theme. Today's theme is Bulldog Spirit. So I am here with my co-host, Coach Tucker Jones. Listen, this man is decked out, ready to go. I said this earlier, and I'm going to say it again. He could probably get 40 tackles tonight for the Bulldogs if he was still eligible, may pass for 500 yards, it may rush for another 400. All those would probably be school records, and I believe that he could do it because that's the electricity that I am feeling in this building today. And so, Coach Tucker Jones, what are you thinking about this Bulldog celebration? Uh, I'm very excited for this Bulldog celebration. I'm ready to jump around, about ready to have a good time, and I'm ready for that confetti to rain. To rain. Yeah. Hey, me too. I love the confetti. So, you know what? While we're waiting, why don't we go check in? I think Miss Carson, she's going to be our field reporter this year. She's actually got an interview lined up, and I believe it's Mr. Creams Matlock, Coach Tucker Jones. Thank you, Mr. Panel. I am here with Cruz Matlock. He is a second grader here at Valiant Elementary. Whose class are you in, Cruz? Mrs. Cow's. Miss Cow's class. Cruz, what are you most excited for at the Bulldog celebration? You ready to run down the red carpet? How fast are you going to run? Real fast? He's going to run real fast. Thank you, Mr. Panel. <laughs> Thank you, Cruz, for that interview. I really, I mean, we really appreciate you coming out today. And hey, we cannot wait to see how fast he's going to run down it. What do you think? What do you think his 40 time is going to be down this red carpet? Five seconds. Five seconds? You think you might do a cartwheel? I think you might. Okay. No pressure. No pressure. I'm hoping a cartwheel, maybe a backflip today. That'd be really cool. Hey, you know what? We have, you know what? Before we get into another interview, why don't we talk about kind of what's been going on at school? Um, we had the first day of school. It was electrifying. We had teacher introductions going on. We had kids yelling and screaming. We were going to have confetti. The confetti machines didn't work, but hey, we'll make them work today. Um, we had all kinds of things going on. Another thing that we've really been having going on at the elementary is construction. A lot of hammering noises, a lot of drills. You got anything to say about construction? Uh, you know, it's been difficult. We've had to dodge it on the way to the gym. Uh, going in and out of different doors, trying to find a class that was in a different room the day before. It's been real difficult. Hey, I wish we could get one of those teachers out here for an interview because I'm telling you, we have been switching classrooms like no other. I mean, it's talking about you come in and say, hey, you're about to change. Next thing you got kids carrying desks, you got everybody's just chipping in. So you know what? We really appreciate everybody chipping in out there. So if you've helped move the classroom, hey, we appreciate you. Um, we've got another interview lined up. I think it's Mr. Abel Parker, who's also a Bulldog of the Month. So why don't we go check in with Abel Parker and Miss Carson. Miss Carson? I am here with Abel Parker. Abel is also in the second grade. Whose class are you in? Miss Jackson's. Miss Jackson's class. Abel, have you ever been a Bulldog of the Month before? Yes. You have? What year? First grade. First grade, so that is two years in a row that he has been a Bulldog of the Month. Abel, what is your favorite part about the Bulldog celebration? Running the carpet. Running on the carpet, I figured. Thank you. Thank you, Abel, for that interview. Um, you want to talk about some Bulldogs of the Month right now, Coach Jones? All right. Well, let's go through fifth grade right now. We have Mr. Corbin Ferguson. We have Jamie Parsons. And we have Sadie Bean. I guarantee you all of these ones have been Bulldog of the Month before because I know they are good kids, and I know they work hard in the classroom. You want to go over the fourth graders for you? So in fourth grade, we got Peyton Graham, and Anna Karen, and Kira Terry. Hey, once again, some great Bulldogs there. We'll go ahead and go down to third grade. We have Garrett Dreadfulwater, Kendall Jackson, and Ashton Cox. And 
hey, we can't say much more than, hey, these are some great kids, and we really appreciate the hard work they do for us here at the elementary. You want to go ahead and hit their second grade? Go show them. In second grade, we got Stephanie Nichols, Aniston Fennell, and Abel Parker. Um, first grade, we've got Mr. Cruz Matlock. He was with us earlier. Cannon Parsons, Claire Finley, Raylan Lee, Jolie Dodds, and Haley Foshi. In kindergarten, we have Matt Johnston, Matt Johnston, Henley Potts, Ava Hickens, Hankins, excuse me, and James Byers. And in pre-K, we have Layla Woods, Crew England, Remy Roberts, and Jaden Fennell. And so once again, we appreciate all those Bulldogs in the month. We are super excited to see them run down this red carpet because you know they are going to be excited. So why don't we at this time – Cut to Biscuit and see if he's here, because I believe he is here with us today. Oh, there's Biscuit. He is ready to go. Oh, Biscuit's ready. Hey, Biscuit, you have a good summer? That's awesome. All right. So I just want to take time right now uh, and talk about some of the people that we couldn't do this without. Um, IP decided that they would provide us with a sponsor this year. So we appreciate IP. We got our hard hat here, ready to go in case some construction really starts going on in the building again today. I'm prepared, got us several. So we're good there, yeah. Um, and then another sponsor that we appreciate that donates to our kudos cards is First State Bank. And so we appreciate First State Bank there because they represent the teachers. So thank you very much to First State Bank. Um, I kind of want to talk about the Bulldog celebration today too. You know, we got a lot of things going on at it. Um, we're going to do, obviously, our pledges at the beginning. Then we're going to give away our perfect attendance money. Okay, so how our perfect attendance money works is any kid who in, we draw for each grade level, and any kid that's been here all month, we do a $10 drawing, and they get a $10 check with their name on it if they've had perfect attendance all month. But like I said, we do a drawing. So if there's 30 kids in first grade with perfect attendance, all their names are in the drawing, and we draw, and, you know, they win $10. And so that's a pretty cool thing. And then we were able to bring back our big thing again, too, our big drawing for perfect attendance. You remember which one that one was? I can't remember. You hey, remind me. hey, you know what that is. Biscuit? Biscuit knows what that is. And so Biscuit will tell you right now that that is bicycles. Okay, that's probably one of our favorite things of the day. I think we have bicycles. We'll just have to wait and see. But I believe we do have bicycles. And so – you do, you do, Coach Jones? Coach Jones says he does believe he's seen some today. And so we will break those out. And that, how our bicycles work, is that perfect attendance all year. So obviously early on, there's a lot of kids that have perfect attendance. I believe we drew out about 370 kids. And so 370 kids hasn't missed a day of school. Wow, that is really impressive. Yes. And so, you know, um, we'll do that drawing. A boy and a girl will be lucky winners of that. I can tell you, secret. One of them may have training wheels on it. Ooh, training wheels, yeah. One of them may have training wheels on it. And so that's another thing we'll give away. We'll give our kudos cards away. So how our kudos card winner is, is every teacher and every faculty member gets a card, and they can write on a, their, another teacher's name, basically nominate them, who's done a fantastic job in the classroom or somebody that just goes out of their way every day to work hard or somebody that's got perfect attendance for the month too. And so First State Bank is our sponsor of our kudos cards. And so that teacher will win $50, and I know they'll be excited about that too because, hey, I'm who, who doesn't want $50? Actually, you know, Coach Tucker Jones here has won $50 before because it was for perfect attendance, I believe. And guess who was not in the gym that day? Coach Tucker Jones was not in the gym that day. And so we had to hunt him down. So maybe we won't have to hunt him down today. Um, we'll have a video that Miss Carson put together, and so that's always awesome to watch. But you know what? We have some Bulldogs of the Month at this time that we need to interview. Actually, we have Miss Derek that we need to interview that we are going to flip to now. Thank you, Mr. Panel. So we talked about classroom renovations and teachers that had to move around a lot. And Miss Barrick, you definitely had to move around a lot. So tell us how it feels to finally be in your brand new classroom. It was very difficult moving around. Uh, I think my kiddos can also agree to that, but it was a bit of an adventure. We are very glad to be back in our original classroom. And a special uh, announcement, if you see anything in the hallways that looks like cotton candy, it is not cotton candy. Please do not eat it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Ms. Barrett. <laughs> 
you know, I got here this morning at 6.30. Actually, it's probably a little bit earlier than that. And I seen what she was talking about in the hallway. And Coach Jones, I thought it was cotton candy, and I thought about eating it. But I thought somebody had a cotton candy machine here. But you know what? I think I know what that was. What do you think? Well, I know now that it was insulation, but I didn't know that when I ate it. That explains a lot. Okay, and so we have one more Bulldog of the Month here today that we're going to interview. She snuck in on me, and let me tell you, she is decked out when you see her. I didn't even recognize who she was when she came in, but I believe it is Miss Stephanie Nichols, who is a second grader. Let's check in with Miss Carson to see how Stephanie's doing. So yesterday, Stephanie's mom was picking her up from school, and she said, tomorrow, Stephanie will have orange and black hair because she's begged for it all week, and you sure do have orange and black hair, don't you, today? Yeah. I'm so excited for Stephanie. Can you tell everyone how many times that you have been Bulldog of the Month? Three years. In a row, correct? Also, not to mention that Stephanie has been the Bulldog of the Month the first month of the year for three months, for three years in a row. I'm so excited for you, Stephanie. How excited are you? Really excited. Really excited. Thank you so much. Thank you, Stephanie, for that interview. We really appreciate you, and we really appreciate your time. You keep working hard. Good job, Stephanie. Well, that pretty much wraps up our Bulldog pre-celebration show today. You know, what we have in store for the future is we're hoping to get some special guests in here, some special interviews. We had some coaches that were standing by to see what was going on, but they kind of snuck out on us. I was going to catch one of them for an interview, but we might catch them next time. So we hope everybody has an amazing day today. And let me check the time. We are about three and a half, four hours to the Bulldog celebration. This gym will be electric. Can you feel the electricity building? I can feel the electricity in this building. My hairs are almost standing up on my arms because I have chill bumps. And so, like I said, that pretty much wraps up the Bulldog celebration. Oh, hold on. This just coming in. We have an interview going on, and it is with our boy Biscuit. Let's check it with Miss Carson. I'm here with the one, the only, Biscuit, our school mascot. Biscuit, how excited are you for Bulldog of the Month? <laughs> are you going to do the wave? <laughs> the kids love the wave. We cannot wait. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Biscuit, for that interview. You know, I said it was going to wrap up, but I seen Biscuit over there jumping up and down and waving. Did you see him over there, too? I tell you what, Biscuit was going crazy. He was starting to pout a little bit, and so that's why Miss Carson started waving at me to say, hey, let's get him an interview real quick, because if not, he, I think he was trying to tell us that he was not going to show up for Bulldog Celebration if he did not get an interview. So, you know what, Biscuit, we appreciate you, and we cannot wait to see that wave later today. So, kids, get ready, and if you don't know what the wave is, you might ask your teacher today so that you know what it is, so Biscuit can leave this place happy today, right? Because I know Biscuit, he talked to me all summer about how the fifth graders last year were not really doing the wave for him. And so he's really wanting fifth grade to participate this year. You know, fifth grade, this this upcoming group of fifth grade that, that's here now, they're, they're a lot better. I feel like they got it in them. Yeah, you think they got the wave in them? I okay. Like, I feel like they've got the wave in them. So, hey, sixth graders over there at the middle school, you need to make sure you're practicing that wave because if I call you, if I call you back over here, I want to see the wave out of you. Understand? Okay, you understand. I know you do. All right. So, like I said, this probably pretty much wraps up our Bulldog pre-celebration show today. I appreciate everybody being here today. Um, we also have a camera crew that I want to give a shout out to real quick. Uh, we have Miss McKayla Dansby, we have Chloe Cavender, and we have Mr. Aaron Scholes. and then we also have on the control board we have. Our counselor, Miss Amber Smith. And so we appreciate everybody. We could not do it without you. We could not do it without the, all of our faculty members here. And this wraps up the pre-celebration show. We will see you next month. We will see you today, actually, at 1235. But we will see you next month for our pre-celebration show on the first Friday of the month. Once again, this is the Bulldog pre-celebration show. We thank you so much for your time. Have a great day. And just remember, we are... Valiant.